Well, what a lightning bolt. A lot of things happened last year that were lightning bolts, but one of them was Patrick Mahomes. We've been waiting to see this arm, this young, cocky kid that can just whip it around the yard. I love that he's with Andy Reid. He needs, he's the kind of guy, he reminds me, look, I hate to say it's Brett Favre. Brett, when he came in, wild, big arm, wanted to throw it in all over the stadium, and he could. Mike Holmgren, Andy Reid, they're, they're the same coaching tree. They're almost the exact same person. When you see him and talk to him, I've known them both since I was in college. They're, they're, they're very similar, and now they have very similar quarterbacks that they can give great you know, tutelage to and really change the arc of their career. I love the two of Matt Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid being together, and you saw it last week. I expect it to have bumpy roads, but a trajectory up and to the right continually. Well, interesting, Carolina goes to Atlanta. I think Atlanta is more likely, their offense versus Carolina's, to get back on track because I think they have all the horses. They have all the people, they have, and they have the whole playbook. There's nothing limiting to what they can do from a quarterback's perspective and really from a running game. They have all the elements to be a Super Bowl offense. The Carolina Panthers, they've doubled down with Cam Newton. Smart, I get it, but it's limited because you're not asking Cam to expand his passing profile, but you're asking him to do more in the running game. Fine, and you're going to win a lot of games that way, but is it championship football? Can you go the distance? Certainly you can win game to game. I'm never going to say that Cam can't go win a game here or there, but do I believe that Carolina under this philosophy can go to the Super Bowl? No, I do not. Well, a real dilemma in Green Bay because Aaron Rodgers is hurt. He can play on one leg. He proved it last week. And, and whether it's a broken bone or whether it's strained ligaments or whatever it is, it's going to take 30 days to get well. He could easily and should probably sit out. But how much chance do the Packers have to win those four games? Is it zero? And with Aaron Rodgers, it goes to 25 to 50%. Then you figure, like, we might have very limited plays that we can run, the very few things that he can do, but let's do them because it gives us a shot to win. And that's really fundamentally the decision that the Green Bay Packers have to figure out is what are the odds to win with him and without him? Well, Josh Allen gets the call for the Bills. And, I, I mean, it's really easy for your first start young quarterbacks, what do you say to them, is don't be the reason that the team loses. I know it sounds funny, but... That really is the case. Like, these are professionals, 49 other professionals, veterans, been around a long time. they got talent. They can go win games. Let them go win it. Don't you stop that from happening because you play so poorly that you don't give them a shot to go win it. And please don't try to be the reason that you, that you win. That'll come. It doesn't have to happen. Just stay out of the way the best that you can. Make the plays that are necessary to give everybody else a shot to go win a football game. Well, how much fun is it to see the bearded wonder, Ryan Fitzpatrick, just dominate in New Orleans? A veteran quarterback that can throw it around. I'm very excited. I love when I see guys that have played for a long time and get a shot to do something spectacular like that. Can that keep going against Philadelphia? Look, it's going to have to because this Tampa Bay defense is being retooled and they are a step below where they've been. So in many ways, Ryan needs to continue to say to himself, I need to be the reason that, they, that we win. I need to put up four or five touchdowns against the Philadelphia Eagles. And that might give him the, you know, sometimes it's the expectations that make a big difference. I think Ryan's up to it. Very difficult. We get that. But don't think you're going to beat the, the Eagles 13 to 10.